Hello, thanks for joining us for another Vertex BD video guide. In this one, we'll be taking a look at how to produce professional renderings within Vertex BD. We have a finished example project loaded within Vertex BD here. We select to add a floor from the modeling tab. Any random floor will do. We add it to our ground floor wall framing model at a size that is larger than our project build area as shown. We zoom out and we select our floor we have added, and then we select to access its properties. Within here, we right click and we remove everything from our main floor framing layer, and then select OK. With that then completed, we then zoom out again and head on over to our renderings tab and select the edit by volume option. We select our floor area we just added prior, as the volume and hit browse in the rendering material options window displayed. Within here, we navigate to the miscellaneous library and select the shadow capture option. With that completed, we then zoom out again and from the rendering tab, again we select load studio and select the high res option with lighting for high quality rendering. Once we've done that, we then select the Modify Environment Light option from the Rendering tab. Within here, we select the Environment Light option and modify the intensity down to an 8. We select OK, and upon being returned to the Edit Lights menu, we select the Add option and add a distant front right light source. We set the intensity to 0 0.7 and amend its rotation to 120, and then select OK. With that completed, we then, within the rendering tab, select the background option, and within the scaled image backgrounds library, we choose the Studio S07 background. With the background selected, we navigate to the View tab, where we select the drop-down and choose the Walkthrough View option as shown. Within the Walkthrough View mode, we navigate and set up our view position for our rendering. Once we are happy with the position that we have selected for our rendering, we then, within the rendering tab, select to save our rendered view. Selecting this opens a final options tab where we deselect the window size option and from the drop down menu shown, choose the 3840 by 2160 option as our rendering size. We also, within here, reduce the number of samples to 200 as shown and then name our save file as test and choose its file type via the image file option shown. With those selections made, we hit the save option and then hit the render option. Vertex BD will then create our rendering. Please note, this can take some time depending on your system specification, project complexity and more. Once the process is completed, we then have a superb high quality rendering of our project on screen for us to review and to also save as per our prior specification. This is an excellent way to produce high quality renders throughout projects within Vertex BD. Thanks for joining us for this video. Check out our channel for more.